Hello my friends, today we talk about MetaCommerce, which is not beyond commerce, it's just a name for Facebook and Instagram shopping. Starting 2020 with the COVID pandemic, Facebook accelerated a lot their move into e-commerce. Facebook Marketplaces was there already and it was basically like a place where consumers would sell stuff to other consumers. So my secondhand bicycle or your secondhand surfboard and so on. But then Facebook Shops was introduced and some of you, many of us, remember the joint web conference between Mark Zuckerberg and Tobias Lutke, CEO of Shopify. And then Instagram shopping was even newer, came later, was kind of confused at the beginning, but uh, they had to create a way to manage both Facebook shops and Instagram shopping. And so came Facebook Business Suite. Then they changed the name to the company from Facebook to Meta and uh, Facebook Business Suite became Meta Business Suite. And what is it? Well, Business Suite is a place where you as a seller can manage your ads, your Meta advertising on Instagram and on Facebook. You can manage your pages, your product, and you can manage your shopping. So shopping is what we are interested in today. Shopping within Facebook and Instagram is evolving a lot. It's going fairly quickly and it's improving. But the base of this shopping are products, what you may call listings. So products are managed inside meta commerce catalogs. The catalogs are collections of products and they're smart collections of products. So you have all your products somewhere. Maybe you got them in Shopify. Maybe you got them in eBay. Maybe you got them in Amazon. Maybe you got them in Etsy. And you can transfer these products with in Meta and assign them into these smart collections which have a name and some rules and they can be connected to your Meta properties which are typically your Facebook shop, more than one, Facebook shops and your Instagram shopping and you can have different catalogs per different properties and different catalogs per different countries. So how do you go about it? You log in into your Meta Business Suite, you click on Commerce Manager and there you see your catalogs and you can create new catalogs and you can create new products or you can assign products to catalogs and then assign these catalogs to your Facebook shops and Instagram shopping account. So I can tell you sellers are moving in flocks onto meta properties or truly are they moving? No, they're not moving. They're like they're adding. So they're adding Facebook shops and Instagram shopping to their marketing mix, to their mix of existing channels. And that's exactly what Nimble helps you to do. So of course, sellers use these properties to increase their online presence, to have their products shown in yet a couple more product search engines, to take advantage of the mechanics of uh, interaction within Instagram and Facebook, which show stuff out of uh, discovery rather than search. So it's a completely different environment as opposed to Google, for instance. They find new customers on social media and they grow their sales. Nimble enables you to bulk transfer your listings from wherever they are into MetaCommerce, then allows you, enables you, provides a tool to bulk edit them, to bulk delete them, to bulk assign them to catalogs, to bulk edit their prices, to bulk reprice them and to sync their stock so that they are out of stock or in stock on Facebook shops or Instagram shopping. In this video, we will see why you should do meta catalogs. We will see how you can list and delist items from your meta catalogs and how you can sync edit from all your existing channels through Namble onto your meta catalogs. Let's move to the PC and work together a little bit so you can see an example. Well, a couple of examples. Follow me. First of all, we give for granted that you do have an up and running Commerce Manager account and uh, you're into Meta Business Suite. Here, there's a list of catalogs. There's a list of business assets. Let's uh, add a catalog into my own Nimble account. I clicked Add Catalog. I select e-commerce because I'm listing products. I go Next and I leave the default option of uploading product info manually. The catalog owner will be you, your company, not Nimble Inc. in your case, and you give the catalog a name. And so we just call this catalog, catalog for video because we're running a video right now, right? And we create it, finish, view all catalogs. And here we are, we see all catalogs. You can see there's a catalog for video here and a bunch of others. Now we move into my Nimble account. Among the connected channels, there's uh, Meta Commerce. I click on settings. First of all, there's an on-off switch for edit from Nimble. 
you can uh, keep it off and when you edit a product in Nimble, this edit will not go on to your uh, meta catalog or will you keep it on and the edit, the change, the sync will actually pass on to meta catalog. Then listing, you can select a default currency among a bunch of existing currencies throughout the world and you can have a default brand here because MetaCommerce requires all of your products to have a brand. So in case you had any products within your Nimble products tab with no brand, this function will fill in the gap. So it's basically your default brand whenever your products do not have a brand because it's required. And then you select the catalog with which you want to work. You can see here products spring summer, we open it. Wow, there's the catalog for video we just created. So at this point, we created a catalog within Meta Business Suite, Meta Commerce, and Nimble already read its existence and makes it available for you. So we select it and this will be the catalog with which Nimble will work within the next working session. You can change it and have some products listed on one catalog, Meta Catalog, and some other products from Nimble listed in some other Meta Catalog. So this is very, very flexible. We now work with Catalog for Video and I save changes. I switch to Products. You can see there's a bunch of products here which are already listed on Meta Commerce. So let me filter quickly to find some products which are certainly not on Meta Commerce. Here they are, quite a few of them. Let me select four products. Then we go Actions, Publish, right? So the first thing is we wanna list them on Meta. Unselect all, select Meta Commerce, click Publish, boom. The publishing is working. Now we wait a second. We need to remove the filter to see all products. And there they are. Four newly published products, two with quantity zero and two with a positive quantity. We now go back on Facebook, we click on catalog for video, we open the catalog, we go on items and we will see the four items we just uh, listed and you can see two are in stock and two are out of stock. Positive quantity will be interpreted by Meta as in stock and zero quantity will be interpreted as out of stock. That's all there is in terms of stock count inside MetaCommerce at the moment, excluded specific country markets. Now we go in Nimble. Let's try editing something. So for instance, we pick this uh, first product and we edit it and we change its price. A product with variation will be listed on MetaCommerce as one single product and specifically the first variation at the moment. So we change the quantity and we make it positive. One, one, one. So we have a, a stock which is now positive and I said we change the price right from 338.98 we go on 199 and that's all we need and we make a, a shorter title Japan model boom save. The price is now changed and the title is changed now in Nimble. We go in Commerce Manager, we refresh, okay you can see there's a updated price the product is now in stock and the title has changed. Magic. Since within Meta Commerce Manager, you can assign a catalog to one of your Meta properties. So one of your Facebook shops or one of your Instagram shopping accounts. We just edited the prices, the title and the stock in stock out of stock status of a product, an example product. This could have been done for all of them on your Facebook shops or Instagram shopping. Now, since you may want to keep some of the products within some of your meta channels, independent from everything else, let's go back in settings and we turn off the edit from Nimble. Save changes. Now we go back into products and we make a change and let's edit the product. So we open it and we change something. We change maybe again the title and at this point you will see that the title doesn't change. So title, change and then we change the price if you like it's 299 click save hold on okay so we have two quantity and 299 we go in commerce manager we refresh we may refresh as much as we want this price here will not change and the title will not change there it is 199 and still the previous title unedited by turning the edit from nimble off you're free to 
change the content maybe manually into your meta commerce environment to make it as you want as you wish to be personalized for Instagram or for some Facebook shops without having interference from whatever you do on other channels you may have connected to Nimble or within Nimble itself. There's still one experiment we need to do, which is the list. Of course, with the edit from Nimble switch off, you can still delist your items. You can list and delist. The only thing is that you, if you edit them, the edit will not go. So now we try to delist. Go back in products, select a random one and a second one and we go actions, the list, unselect all, select MetaCommerce and the list. It's now done. I go in MetaCommerce, I refresh and there we are. To sum up, we listed, edited and delisted with and without the switch on or off of the edit from Nimble. In this video, we've just seen how to use meta catalogs with Nimble, how to sell on Facebook and Instagram, and how to sync products from your existing channels onto meta properties, onto your meta catalogs, and therefore how to manage your products. If you have any questions, ask in the comments below or write to us in app, chat with us in app. Don't forget to like the video and to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Have a great rest of the day. Ciao.